I'm Zertastic, and today we're going to draw a lovely sheep. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. All right, we're gonna begin our sheep by starting with the face. We're gonna start on the left side of our paper and work right today. We're gonna start with a U on a diagonal. On the left side of the U, we're going to draw one ear with a L shape or a nice triangle. And on this side, we're going to draw a second triangle, but a little bit bigger because this one is closest to the viewer. So it needs to be slightly bigger because we want it to appear that it's closer, right? So things in the distance are smaller than things that are closer to us. Next, we're going to draw one large eye. And on this side, one smaller one. So one big circle, again in the distance, a smaller one. In each one, draw a larger circle and two smaller circles. Color in everything but those circles in the eyes. Lovely. On each eye, just underneath, we're gonna draw a little oval. Again, one is bigger than the other. On the snout, we're gonna draw a nice wide curving line and one down. And then you can end it in two little diagonal lines and that will create both the nose and the mouth. Next, we're going to draw some curving lines on the top of the head here for some hair on the head. And then we're gonna start on this side and we're gonna curve it around and under. So we're gonna go curve up, around, and stop. We're gonna do Two legs, so two lines down for each leg. We're gonna curve the bottoms in just a little bit. We're gonna add a little triangle in there and then connect and that will create the hooves. At the top of those legs, we're gonna draw some curving lines to create the tufts of the hair around the legs. And then we're going to draw the belly with more curved lines. Now our sheep only has two legs right now, so we need to add two more legs. We're gonna put one here and one here, but they need to be slightly shorter than the first legs. So we only want to bring them to about there. Okay, so you can put two dots where you're gonna stop your legs because it needs to be shorter because we want things in the distance or things that are farther away to be shorter or smaller than, th than things that are closest to us. And that's going to create the illusion of depth and space, which is an element of art in our artwork. Two lines down toward where those dots are. We're going to repeat the process of adding two little lines in and two triangles to create our hooves. Now our sheep has four legs. You can give your sheep a tail and you can add some fluffies around the body. So more curved lines because curved lines add fluffy hair texture and we would like that. Below your sheep, add a nice big long oval 
for some grass. You can add tufts of grass here and there. And now we're ready to color. We won't have to color too much because, well, it's mostly white anyways. We are going to color the face gray. Oh, before that, we need to take our marker and we gotta double outline this. Backing up. All right, take your marker. We're going to go around the perimeter of our artwork one more time to clean up the lines, make it bold, add contrast, and make it beautiful. And this will tidy up all your lines. Okay, so we're gonna go back to coloring. So again, we're gonna color the face with a darker gray and then we'll do some light shading or use a light gray in the hair. To find a darker gray, it could be, again, we're using any colors that we want, any mediums that we want. You could use your felt markers. You could use wax crayon. Um, if you don't have two grays, you can do light shading so if it's a wax crayon you can do just lighter coloring on the body that will make a light gray and then the face would be dark gray or you could just use the same gray and see how it goes you do you we're going to take a gray and we're going to color in our face we're going to be nice and careful as we color around our eyes and cheeks so we don't get gray on them and especially careful around the first. We don't get that gray either. Use that same gray and color in your legs. If you have a different gray, you can now switch to a lighter gray, or if you don't, you can just use the same gray, or again, color lightly. It doesn't matter. It's should be different, right? All art should be different and both ways will look lovely. We're gonna add some shading along the underside of our sheep. So along the back, along the underside, around 
the legs. along the underside of the tail. You can even do it around the tufts on the body because of course they have quite thick hair so there would be some shadows on that. I'm gonna do it around the tuft on the head to make it more apparent. I'm also going to add some shading under the face and around that ear that's overlapping onto the body. And now I'm ready to get some pink. I'm going to add pink to the cheeks. I'll take my blue and add a little bit of shading around the whites of that larger part of the eyes. We'll grab a green to finish our sheep by coloring in the grass. And once you're done coloring in your grass, your lovely sheep is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.